that building behind me is the old Salem police station. In April of 1906, Harry Houdini is on tour through New England, and he books a three-night run at a theater here in Salem. Now, whenever Houdini goes into towns, uh, as a sort of publicity stunt, he goes to the local police and he has them uh, challenge him to get out of one of their cells. It's always his idea, but when they go to the newspapers, they present it as though it's the police challenging Houdini to escape from one of their cells. So they accept this challenge, they set this uh, publicity stunt up. Now, a crowd of, uh, of local dignitaries, the, the mayor, the police chief, the fire marshal, uh, all gather uh, here at the old police station. They strip search Houdini. He's got no lock picks or anything, uh, any sort of tools hidden anywhere. They lock him in one of the cells. Uh, they put on uh, three pairs of handcuffs, two pairs of leg irons. They then lock his clothes up in another cell. Uh, he does this stunt a lot. Then they re retire to the front office uh, to await results. In about six minutes, uh, Houdini gets out of the three pairs of handcuffs, the two pairs of leg irons. He opens up the cell that he's in. He goes down to the other cell, opens that cell, gets his clothes, gets dressed. He then walks a couple of cells down the other direction where there's a guy named McCoy uh, has been locked up. I don't know what McCoy is in for. He unlocks that cell, handcuffs himself to McCoy. He and McCoy then run out the side door. You can see it way down the end of the building there. They run out the front door, up that alley, around the corner, and they stand in front of the uh, police station, banging on the front window. Uh, the committee of dignitaries turn around to see uh, Harry Houdini and McCoy handcuffed, uh, standing in the middle of Front Street behind me, uh, waving to them through the window. This is a huge publicity coup, and it uh, uh, assures his success, his run, his three nights here, uh, sell on the ticket sell very, very well. Now, uh, Houdini's name will forever be associated with Halloween because uh, Houdini dies on Halloween 1926, and uh, for many, many years there were a number uh, there were seances held all over the world uh, trying to contact the great escape artist. Uh, none of them have ever had any uh, sort of success. In fact, uh, back in the 90s, there was a uh, Houdini seance held at the Hawthorne Hotel right here in town uh, trying to contact the great escape artist. Uh, no sign ever came. If anybody was going to escape death on comeback, it was going to be this guy. <laughs>